Hubble has captured the largest ever near-infrared photograph of space. This massive survey could pave the way for next-generation James Webb Space Telescope findings and could help us humans to understand some of our universe's most mysterious regions sooner or later. We can't forget about Hubble in the excitement of discussing astronomy's gleaming new toy, the James Webb Space Telescope. JWST has been making waves since its launch in late December of last year, carrying the hopes and dreams of wide-eyed scientists, as well as gold-plated mirrors and an array of high-tech infrared cameras capable of piercing stardust and assisting humanity in solving long-standing black hole puzzles. Hubble, on the other hand, has recently passed a significant milestone. It has survived its first year in orbit. With Hubble being in space for quite some time, what are the latest updates we received from the telescope? What more can we expect from Hubble as it ventures the cosmos for the years to come? Hello there, and welcome back to the Discover Space channel, where we give you the latest cosmic updates you won't want to miss. The Hubble Space Telescope, which launched into space in 1990, has obtained the largest ever near-infrared image of space, and is thereby venturing into territory that JWST will soon be exploring. This incredible image may shed light on some of the universe's most unusual phenomena, such as monster galaxies formed by enormous galaxy mergers or ultra-destructive black holes lurking deep within stellar space. As shown in this image here, an area of sky captured by 3D Dash, displaying the universe's brightest and rarest objects, such as monster galaxies. Since its launch more than 30 years ago, the Hubble Space Telescope has led a renaissance in the study of how galaxies have changed in the last 10 billion years of the universe. This 3D Dash program extends Hubble's legacy in wide area imaging, so we can begin to unravel the mysteries of the galaxies beyond our own. 3D Dash provides researchers with a comprehensive near infrared survey of the whole cosmos field, one of the richest data fields for extragalactic studies outside the Milky Way for the first time. Near infrared allows astronomers to glimpse the most distant galaxies since it is the longest and reddest wavelength measured with Hubble just beyond what the human eye can perceive. Astronomers must also search a vast area of the sky for unusual phenomena. Until then, such a large image could only be obtained from the ground and the resolution was inadequate, limiting what could be seen. 3D Dash will aid in this detection of rare events including the universe's most massive galaxies, highly active black holes, and colliding and merging of galaxies. To capture such a large area of sky, the astronomers use a new technique called Drift and Shift with Hubble, or DASH. DASH creates an image eight times larger than Hubble's typical field of vision by taking several photos that are then stitched together into one master mosaic, much like snapping a panoramic picture on a smartphone. DASH also collects photographs faster than traditional techniques, taking eight images per Hubble orbit instead of one, completing what would have been previously taken 2,000 hours in just 250 hours. 3D Dash adds a new layer of unique observations in the cosmos field and is also a stepping stone to the space surveys of the next decade. And it gives us a sneak peek of future scientific discoveries and allows us to develop new techniques to analyze these large datasets. It spans nearly six times the area of the moon in the sky as seen from Earth. This record is unlikely to be broken by Hubble's successor, JWST, 
which is designed for sensitive close-up photographs of a tiny area to capture fine detail. It is the greatest near-infrared image of the sky available to astronomers until the next generation of observatories, such as the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the Euclid, launched in the next decade. Now, what exactly is an infrared photograph? Even if you're in the darkest forest glen on the planet, you won't see all the stars when you look up at the sky. It's not because of the stars aren't visible from your vantage point. They're there, but they can't be seen. Light wavelengths in a specific region of the electromagnetic spectrum can only be seen by the human eye. Infrared light exists just beyond the zone, and galaxies and stars that are extremely far away emit this type of light. So no matter what we do, we can't see them. However, Hubble, as well as JWST, have devised a method of circumventing our human limitations. Both of these instruments have infrared light detectors built into them by scientists. JWST's infrared powers are much, much stronger than Hubble's, which is why it has the potential to show us tons of things our eyes cannot see. However, Hubble does have some of these special light processing capabilities, as shown in this diagram. Plus, Hubble has an advantage over JWST in this area. JWST is designed to take highly sensitive, close-up images of deep space. According to the researchers behind the new study, so we can't get very clear pictures of small interstellar areas. That's very exciting because we'll almost certainly get images of faraway stars, galaxies, and other cosmic phenomena with the same level of clarity as images of space-borne objects closer to Earth. Hubble, on the other hand, can take extremely wide field images, such as the one we're looking at now. Such large data sets could eventually help the future JWST studies by pointing the next generation scope in the right direction for revealing observations. It is safe to say that the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are not by far competition, but these two can definitely work hand in hand to help humanity take a leap closer to our long-standing curiosities about our universe. That is it for this video. Please comment down below what other cosmic phenomena, possibilities, and mysteries you want to know more next. We shall see you then.